digital advertising, some digital advertising is going to be more like TV advertising with a much higher production value. I think that's a good thing for the industry, not a bad thing, but it does mean that the players, including publishers like The Times who are producing uh, branded content for advertisers, uh, we're going to have to figure out ways of scaling our creative capabilities. We've got more selection from more different content creators and distributors than ever, and premium really is sort of the, the order of the day. But what I want to question is, what is premium, right? I think of premium differently than a 15-year-old boy thinks of premium. Is premium content relevant content? Is it content that connects to a particular individual? Or is it content, I think, the way that it's traditionally defined, which is high production values, long form storytelling, big stars, right? Things like House of Cards or Game of Thrones. Or is premium a three minute video on YouTube that happens to connect to millions and millions of people the way, for instance, PewDiePie's videos do? So in order to sustain the uh, increased demand for quality premium content, uh, I think the way the industry will sustain that is by finding ways to monetize it better through, through more innovative ad models and, more, and, and bigger subscription businesses. Because at the end of the day, the price of this content is getting higher and higher, and you have to find a way to pay for it. And so to sustain that, you need, you need innovative in, uh, monetization uh, models. This is the golden age of television and video. There has never been so much great content. Now, at the same time, there's never been so much bad content. But in an era, because of budgets and varying distribution channels, but in an era of streaming and DVRs, we only watch the great content. We seek out the great content. We're only surrounded by stuff we like. We're not subject to other people's schedules. The problem that's created is we don't have TV guides anymore. TV guides have been completely replaced by social. But for a viewer, it has never been a more exciting time that they can find specific content they love, and that's all they have to watch. Marketers, we have to partner with the right content. We have to be in relevant positions. We can't just get into any content to get into any content. But the more we can invest in the right and relevant content for consumers as marketers, uh, we will continue the growth well beyond where we are today. I think it's really, frankly, about giving people what, what they want. So, um, and delivering that content, great content and formats that make it easier and easier to consume. So you have so much out there. You know, the consumer will decide for us. There were probably always going to be too many stories out there, good and bad. But I think it was said really well uh, this morning by Jeff Cole of USC that people are not going to view the stuff they don't want to watch. They're not going to watch crap. They may define what they mean by that differently, but the consumer ultimately, you know, whether it's a TV show or whether it's a piece of branded content, they're going to decide what's worth their time and what they want to spend their time with.